Hey, my name is Jobby, and today we'll be talking about the Transformers Generations Voyager Skybike. The fuck do you mean it's not a toy? So here's this box, and here's the figure. This is a great beast mode. If you plan to display him in shark mode, I recommend you get a stand of some kind. And if you don't have him on a stand, well, you get the dead fish look. Guilty. So I heard that a Figma stand works, but I don't have a Figma figure, so I'm stuck with this. Got a 1-100 action base laser the description. But enough about stands, let's talk about... Mans. <laughs> this guy has some great mechanical detail. I mean, I'm buying that this thing is made out of machinery. Just look at all the pipes and the rivets and the tubes. You get it on the other side. You get those lifeless shark eyes. Like a doll's eyes. This guy has a nice complementary color scheme with the blue and orange working together pretty well. Well, maybe not orange, it's more like a yellow, whatever. Who the hell is keeping track? So for his shark articulation, <laughs> Jaw can close and... Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it, I broke my stand! It's okay. I can fix it. Anyway, fins can move a little bit. These tail fins can close and open. And I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of this missile. Looks like bird poop. And if you push this button right here, yeah! It's spins! And due to the transformation, this part can bend down like that. But I would have preferred it if it snapped in place. Let's do some quick size comparisons. Generations Rhinox. Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. SH Monster Arts Godzilla. And here there's a shark in the water! Oh, that's not good. So yeah, some parts of these don't snap together all that well, but I don't feel that it detracts from the figure in any way because this shark mode just looks great. Just don't, don't mind the gap. Seeing as it looks like this thing wants to transform so badly, why don't we go ahead and do that? So first, I lift up this panel here. Then I come to his back and fillet him open. Fold this panel up. Untab the gills, open his mouth, open his mouth, this part splits, then you fold this back and that should snap into place, and you get a leg. Same thing for the other leg. Lift up this shark head, get these fins out of the way any way you can. The instructions don't really specify so do whatever the heck you want. Then you fold this down so it plugs in, then you fold these panels up like that. Or not. Again, the instructions don't really specify, but personally, I like to fold them up. Now this is where it gets crazy. So what you have to do from here is that you have to fold these arms down, but this thing usually doesn't allow any clearance to do- Oh. Uh, never mind. Yeah, when it came out of the package, it was pretty hard to bend this down like that, but I guess it's easy now. That's a way to get clearance. So from here, you twist his arm like that. And there you have his left hand. So you do the same for the other arm. But it's not the same because of this part. So you want to fold what was once the back piece. Like that. And you gotta get the hand out. These are the fingers. And then close it up. Then you bring out these shoulder fins. Lift the head up. And turn it around. And there you have Skybite in his robot mode. <laughs> no! What you really want to do is accordion this shark head snaps into place and then you flip his nose up and you get the Predacon symbol. And here we have Skybite in his robot mode. You know I've been hearing a lot of hate for this guy, but I don't see it. I really like it. For one thing, he has great detail. His head sculpt is just great. I mean, I like how vicious it looks. And he's got a really great sculpt on his teeth. However, I do wish that his eyes were painted a bit brighter. You know something along the lines of a shark eyes. And I don't know about you guys, but the eyes on his chest right here, they kind of remind me of Senketsu from Kill a Kill. Is that just me? Is not everyone a goddamn weeaboo? I also really like the sculpted lines they have here on his shoulders. Mechanical detail left over from the shark mode. He's got a nice yellow to silver gradient on his shark gills. And the back is kind of empty. And if you want to talk about empty, check out these calves. Or should I say, what calves? So how about that posability? The head can rotate a full 360. Arms can also rotate a full 360, but it kind of bumps into this wing thing. But you know, just move it out of the way and I think you'll be fine. Shoulders can move in and out, swivel at the elbow. You get a 90 degree bend at the elbow. His right hand has some 
thumb articulation for no apparent reason. Well, I guess he could hold his bird poop. His wrist can move up and down. And that's it for the wrist! I mean, come on! I just wish Hasbro would have added more wrist articulation to this thing. I mean, a swivel, a ball joint, anything that could get me to twist it sideways. Or else he'll be perpetually cupping something. Just start putting wrists on all of your figures! Come on, Hasbro! Get it together! And he's got no waist articulation! Legs can rotate this far forward and that far back. Fins are on a ball joint so you can position them in a variety of ways. Thigh swivel that goes a full 360. You got a knee joint. See, the transformation requires you to snap this part into place, but whenever you try to bend the knee, uh, but I guess you can get around that issue by holding it like that and then bending it. Well, at least the other knee works fine. And you get some movement at the ankle. But too bad there's no ankle pivot because that really limits the articulation. You can articulate these wings, I guess. Fold out the shoulder things again because they keep going back in. So there's not too much articulation on this thing, but I can work with it. Size comparison time! Here he is next to Rhinox, Optimus Prime, and Godzilla. So while his articulation is not the best and he has some flaws, I can forgive them. The overall appearance of this figure is just nice. He's got nice detail, his shark mode is great, and you can't deny that robot head sculpt. So would I recommend him? Yes. Just be prepared to be a little frustrated when you turn him into a shark for the first time. I mean, getting all this stuff closed up is pretty difficult. But if you go at it a few times, it gets easier and much more satisfying. I think it's worth the effort to get this great shark. And I fixed my stand. <laughs> so if you like this video, why don't you check out my other videos and tell me about your thoughts in the comments. Also, follow me on Facebook if you want to know what I'm doing next. And I don't know. Maybe you can decide what I'll do next. And if you want more toy reviews, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? I'll see you next week. And as always, it's picture time! Somewhere beyond the sea, she's there watching for me. My lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships that go sailing. You're very good. See you next time. Next time on Johnny the Hong, or maybe two weeks from now, Figma, Ryuko, Matoy, stay tuned.